What's bacon fam? It's your boy Shankamuffin here, and welcome to my ranged Vorkith guide. Disclaimer. If you're looking for a guide to kill this boss as fast as Wooks and Bodhi, then this isn't the guide for you. This isn't an elitist Vorkith guide. This is a guide for everyday people like you and me. That means we don't have the best gear, we don't have the best ammo, we don't have the best weapons. I'm not going to teach you how the Wooks walk, and we just play this game because we like it for the PVM aspect, and we want to kill Vorkith because we think it's a fun boss. Also, we're not on a Blue Dragon's task. If you're looking for a more in-depth and elitist guide, consult another guide, because this isn't for you. Before we get started with this video, I provided a table of contents on the screen, as well as in the description. If you want to skip to a certain section of the video, then please do so. Let's begin this guide. start off this guide, let's go over the requirements. You must have completed Dragon Slayer 2. <laughs> that's it. Like, that's it, really. Just complete Dragon Slayer 2 and that's it. You can fight Vorketh. Now let's go on to the skill and the item requirement. Before going any further, I have to address this right away. If you don't have a Salve Amulet EI, get that item immediately. This item will help you tremendously with your kills. Extremely well. As for the skill requirements, uh, I'd say these are pretty helpful. A minimum of 75 attack for access to the BGS spec. There's been quite a debate whether the BGS or the Dragon Warhammer is better, and I'd say that the BGS is better being a tier 75, so it would be more reliant, and it would be far better off as compared to the Dragon Warhammer. The second skill requirement is either 60 defense or 75 defense. 60 defense for access to Barrow's armor. 75 defense if you want to use the Serpentine Helm. Really, it's up to you but I'll be showing Barrow's armor and Void later in this video. To continue onwards, having 80 plus range will be extremely helpful. Make sure you have a blowpipe, that is quite an advantage because that is the best DPS in the game as of right now against Warcath. And now that the skill requirements are done, it's time for the recommended levels. I'm addressing the elephant in the room. Get 82 construction as soon as possible. You gain access to the Ornette Rejuvenation Pool. This is crucial to getting consistent kills per hour. Also, having the highest amount of HP is very useful, having the highest amount of attack, strength, and defense is useful at this boss, and having a minimum of 70 prayer, which will give you access to Piety, can be extremely beneficial when BGS specking up the boss. Also, having the highest level of range is pretty useful, but once again, only having 80 or above is very beneficial. There are two gear setups for this guide. I'll begin with the void setup that I use. Use full ranger void. For a necklace slot, use salve amulet EI. Once again, get this item as soon as possible. For the cape slot, use the best Ava's device that you have. For the ammo slot, use any blessing. For a weapon slot, use a blowpipe and make sure it's loaded up with adam and darts as a minimum. For your boots, use any god boots. Or if you have occasions, use those. It comes down to personal preference. I personally like a prayer bonus. For your ring, you can either use an archer's ring imbued or a ring of suffering imbued. Once again, it's your preference. So this is the second gear setup for someone who doesn't have void nor high amount of wealth. For your helm slot, use any god coif. If you have serp helm, use that. Once again, south aim the EI is a must. For your cape slot, use Ava's device. For ammo slot, use any blessing. For a weapon, use a blowpipe and make sure it has adam and darts loaded into it as a minimum. For your top and bottom, use carols. If you don't have carols, then use black dehyde, but to be honest, you're just gonna die if you use black dehyde probably. For boots, use god boots, or if you have pagasians, use that. I like to use god boots because of the prayer bonus. For a ring, you can either use archer's ring or a ring of suffering. Make sure both of them are imbued. Once again, it comes down to personal preference. For your glove slot, you use barrow's gloves. It's 2018, you guys should have this by now. Like, come on guys. Now, let's go into the inventory setup. Time for your inventory setup. BGS is for your spec. Super Combat Ranging Potion and Extended Anti-Fire are needed. Two Prayer Potions and two Antidotes plus plus. A room pouch full of Crumble Undead spell. House tabs, Karamblams with any other food for combo healing. Vorketh uses every attack style and has special abilities. Melee is when you're in melee range of him. Magic is when you see a blue dart-like orb coming towards you. And range is when you see a gray and green orb coming towards you. When you see a white fire breath attack, this means he's going to ice barrage you. You cannot move, it can only move once you kill the zombified creature that spawns out of Vorketh. Use your crushed undead spell on the creature. And once this creature is destroyed, you are set free. If you do not kill this creature quick enough, 
It will suicide bomb into you and deal tons of damage. When you see a green fire breath attack coming towards you, he is venoming you. Wait until two attack cycles have gone through, and then use your antidote plus plus potions in order to rid the venom. When you see a purple fire breath attack coming towards you, this means that he's going to drop your prayers upon impact. In order to counter this, drop your prayers before the attack hits on you, then reactivate your quick prayers. When Vorketh roars and releases a red fire breath mortar, immediately stand a minimum of two squares away. This is his insta-kill attack. If you stand directly on the square where the mortar lands, it will deal 127 HP minimum on you. You cannot tank this attack. It's damn near impossible unless you ticky. If you stand one square adjacent to this attack, no matter what direction, he will deal half of your maximum HP. The last Vorketh attack is when he roars and green slime is emitted from his mouth and covers the battlefield. Make sure you keep walking and avoid the green slime. Each successful barrage of fireballs deals tons of damage. Pot up with your super combat, ranging potion, and extended anti-fire. Have your BGS equipped and spec out the boss twice. Make sure you have Piety equipped when you're doing this by the way. Switch to Blowpipe and Eagle Eye and deal as much damage as you can while avoiding his attack. Use the opportunities of being frozen and having to walk around to avoid attacks and heal up when needed. Also for your convenience, here's a full fight in order to help you understand what exactly is going on. Well guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you found this guide very helpful and now you can take on Vorkath knowing what he's like. So, if you have a Discord account, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down in the description below. And talk with me there directly as well as find like-minded individuals and be part of an ever-growing community. Anyways guys, my name is Shankmuffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.